Il ne faut pas to share ali do la dura mas tu mal. Never touch your idols. The gilding will stick to your fingers. Many people make an idol of an ideal, hoping it will bestow its grace upon them. And the problem with this, and the only problem with this, is that idols are not real. They are not real. Every ideal that we strive for fails to deliver. We want to become this, become that, become a person who is excellent, seem to be excellent, and never has to deal with criticism, pain, or anxiety. Idols are like axes which people put in the center of their lives, without which they're living without a purpose. But why then people worship idols? Where those ideals came from? How do people rely on it as the time goes by? Have you ever assumed being a celebrity? Being adored by everyone, idolized by everyone. Have you ever prayed on lock ornaments to have a good health or good fortune? I'm not only here to ask questions, because to ask questions is to expect an answer. Looking back, idols are worshipped by people, and and according to Barbara Henderson in her essay, why do people worship idols? Idols do not see your sin. Idols do not hear your sin. Idols have no authority to require you that you turn from your sin. Idols have no power to condemn you from your sin. And idols have no divine inspired book of rules which you are to follow. Thus, you are allowed to do what is right in your own eyes. Idols are just so, are just disgusting form of self fellowship, indulging the person to make the sin what their ever heart desires. Idols are carved images which are unseemly or excessively worshipped by people. Idolatry is a debauchery in the olden times when people are still worshipping God and even now. <clears throat> but why then we worship idols? Why then we have this term idols? Well, before answering that question, I remembered something. What? In the time of Moses. Oh. When people's forbearance runs out of waiting most to go down, yeah. they ask his brother Aaron to oh. make an idol. Mm. That's what we call the golden calf, mm. which made God fury. Mm -hmm. But thanks to Moses, God's rage subsided. We worship idols, or we have this term idols, or we idolize people because they have what we don't have in life, mm -hmm. physically and materially. What makes it sinful is that when we try to be like them, forgetting who we are, losing our own purpose and identity of life. Excessively worship, and we know that idolatry is a sin. But, but if God does, do we sin also when we idolize someone like the celebrities 
the Hollywood stars. See. Well, idols from the past that are not moving today can move. They can dance. They can sing. They can act. They can talk. They can walk. They can run. Simply because they are humans like us. They can do whatever we can do. But then again, why is it a sin? It is because as we idolize them, we are trying to be like them. We are trying to be one of them. That sometimes we forget who we are. Sometimes we change our very selves just to become that person. And I remember, and I quote from Barbara Henderson, Idols do not see your sin. Idols do not hear your sin. It's the same way of saying that the idols that we have today don't know who we are, don't know the imperfections that we have in life. <clears throat> we have those aims or goals in life that we want to become. But in the end, we feel frustrated, disappointed. Because no matter what we do, it always fails us. <clears throat> Ideals are said to be a thing or a person regarded as perfect, most suitable, and unlikely to become a reality. Well, that's a dead end after all. We can still aim that ideal person. We need what we are out to be. Maybe I have, I am not in front of you just to give tips, but to remind each and every one of us here that we can attain that, that, that aim of life, that we can be that ideal person. Prison. Having the virtues of cheerfulness, truthfulness, prudence, temperance, and other godly virtues. Knowing our limitations in life, but don't limit yourself of what you can do. <coughs> Being natural, Accepting yourselves, who you are. Making every talents and skills that you have. Honing it. Knowing our strengths and weaknesses. You, I, all that we have here, can attain that ideal person. I want to end this with this phrase. Uh, before that. Um... I, idols and ideals are completely different. Idols do not strive for the better. It makes us prisoners of ourselves. Not like ideals. Ideals strive for better. It let it make us think outside the box. brings out the beauty within us and let us shine like the sun. And of course, perfection is our call. Perfection is the gift of God because we are created in His image and likeness. Though sin ruin our perfection, but in our final end, with God, we will be perfect. I would like to end with this phrase. But if you seek peace, you will never find it. If you seek happiness, it will always elude you. If you seek freedom, you will be forever stuck in the chains of sin. If you seek confidence, you will be always be insecure. If you seek insight, it you will be always be shallow. If you seek originality, you will be always be still. <coughs> good afternoon to you and a good half day ahead.